Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL semi-final between um, Purple Chest and his Dwarves and I Ravel and his Chaos Dwarves. In the booth with me is Kalon and Fymir. Hello! Hello! Hello everybody, here we are for uh, the semi-final between the Chors and the Doors. And this game is dedicated to our viewers in Poland! Hey! <laughs> Yes, the national flower of Poland, of Poland is the corn poppy. Is it? Mm. And what language do they speak in Poland, Fymir? <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty, Caroline, you know, uh, <laughs> Polish, obviously. <laughs> and the national dish is the biggest stew. <laughs> is it? <laughs> cool, I think I've actually had that. Um, but yeah, that, that was uh, enjoyable. Uh, well done on picking a uh, non-contentious country, although, you know, there's other issues. Yes, yes, we're but in a roll here, we're in a roll. It, it's fine. Poland is, is fine. <laughs> on a list of all the other countries that you've done, this is fine. Lovely removal here from PC. Uh, so we might I'm have presuming... seen a power up all there. We could have done, couldn't we? Because mm -hmm. it's a big boy to get rid of. Uh, nice knockdown on the line of scrimmage. Uh, he has taken a roller for himself, PC, because he is quite down. Fun time, happy team uh, has a roller induced and also has a wizard. Wizzy. Wizzy. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. Wizzy. Wizzor, uh, isn't he? Uh, what's he called? The thing he says, Wizzor. Uh, Inarian. You've got to call the Inarian police because he's got a Wizzor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so here we go. Casual 3D. Doesn't get him, but Juggernaut uses to push the stand firm away, not get stuck on him. Is he going to retreat a bit, or is he happy enough with where he is? Cool. So, even with that uh, huge big lad, I mean, it'd be a shame to go and fight him, but if he needs to, Iravel can fight him, because he does have that fucking lovely bull, who's strength 5 blodge. I mean, he can claw on him at the moment. Uh, he can? Yeah. He Maybe might. he's um, drawing him into it so that he can uh, uh, fireball it. <laughs> Maybe. I, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't hear the. I wouldn't hear the claw palm here. The claw palm, yeah, it's pretty tasty, isn't it? It's quite a commitment, and they are quite slow. But then it's dwarfs, so what are you going to do? And the ball is centralized, so it's not like he can immediately break right or break left, rather. Maybe he can now, actually, with this guy. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he'd need a. He'd need three guards. Yeah. And he's only got two free. Yeah. So he actually can't claw palm him. Nice. I imagine PC probably did the maths and had worked it out whether or not it was going to be worth it. Uh, he can one him or he can also two him with the bull. Yes, yeah, he could just hit him with the bull. But I mean, but hitting with the bull is not idea. as good as claw palming somebody else. No. So no. He'll probably just claw on somebody else. So yeah, so look at the teams. PC's got a really good 1700 TV team, probably the highest TV mm -hmm. team PC's ever had, um, <laughs> with loads of guard, mighty blow, and stand firm. And uh, I Revel also has loads of guard, mighty blow, and stand firm. It's 2000 TV, has a ball carrying hobo, has a decent bull, well, a good bull, and an amazing bull. And uh, he also has a, well, only one claw pommer, and only one mm. claw. But, you know, one claw pommer can win the game by himself. So it's got, a lot of the game is going to come down to how well this claw this pommer does. Pops up, yeah. And here we go. Ooh, just a stun. Here comes the palm. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. More of that, please, says PC. Yeah, uh, so, goal. yeah, I mean... Going into the I, going into the oh, thanks, Skull did same. Going into the event, we were, we were saying that like this. So this was probably the hardest match that PC has had in his schedule. Uh, overall, in the strength of schedule, this was the toughest one. Yes. Um, and he is definitely down. But there are lots of ways for him to win, despite this being, an, I mean, obviously a much better team. This is one way to win: just getting somebody sent off for no effect. Yeah, I hate this fight. Can you take Skull fall. again? I, like I hate it. The guy's already stunned, Ooh, and it's is, yeah. it's a three assist foul, and you've yeah. you, you know like that you can lose. You. Like I just, just hate that. Like I guess if you foul a lot, it, you're used to fouling. But like, mm -hmm. you know, the the advantage the PC's got is he can hit the he can hit the hobos to get to remove players, and uh, yeah. he's gonna have to hit a lot of hobos. He's got a pretty fucking nice hit on this uh, bull over here as yeah, well. Yeah, the bull was just left over there for no yeah. real so reason. It doesn't get him. Will he put a reroll in? Uh, I wouldn't hate it. Oh, mm. chicken. 
Yeah, he could have done with four rerolls because, of course, that riot means he's got a shorter half. So he, it does, he, yeah. he could have afforded a, a vanity reroll now, but then he might have rerolled it at dub skills, mightn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he's, uh, you know, he's, he's a professional player and uh, he would have looked at it overall. There was a small gap, but he would have decided whether he was going to, what he was going to reroll before he went. Um, so I think overall he's probably, it's, it's probably correct not to have done so. Um, weaker so, men such as I would definitely have re-rolled it. But. Or, uh, or maybe, uh, you know, Tycho 25 might have re-rolled that. So, yes. <laughs> you know. Yes. Yeah. Not to cast aspersions. We're, no, uh, but we're, we're certainly only going an argument. off uh, past, past experience. Yeah, there's certainly an argument for not re-rolling things that don't need to turn off us. It's fully abandoned, this guy. Really nice to be able to get the blitzer around the top as well. We plug in a GFI, it doesn't need the GFI, it doesn't really do anything, does it? No. And last action, get a nice three die on this chork. Oh, That's him. baby! Apple. Oh, Ooh. oh it's an oh. MNG. Doesn't Apple it. <gasps> wow. Okay. That's. Whoa. That's balls. Uh, probably correct. An MNG not guaranteed. Only a 50 50 to get it back. Uh, I mean, he's not there for next game, which means he's gone from the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, tough, tough call. But look, he's not the claw palmer. He's just a black, mighty blow stand firm guards dwarf. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he didn't GFI the blitz with a claw palm. Unbelievable, mm -hmm. Jeff. Ooh, with that, with that pow, he can hit the... Uh... I could have followed and hit the uh, roll if you wanted, but again, hitting the roll is not really a point to if you, unless you're going to claw on it because you'll so. knock it down, but it'll just get back up again. Yeah. He's AV10. Drinks a larger drink. Drinks a larger drink. <laughs> oh. So this is a great half a PC, two removals up. Okay. Just, oh, two. another foul. Yeah, plus two foul on this boy. Yeah, it's doing not into him again. Yeah. Being a. a not how I would have played the half from my ravel, and uh, mm -hmm. also a bit of luck for PC. Yes, so definitely some luck for PC, we, we, we have to say that. But also, it's almost as if he's trying to high roll a bit, and he does not need to high roll. His team is just better. Yeah. I mean, he's got to high roll a bit now. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, no, he's down, down two, two dwarfs on this drive as well. Yeah, it's yeah. a big deal. It's, One for the rest of the game. It's getting there all done, yeah. Fair enough, show me magic. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't blame anybody. And now we have uh, Oh, there you go. Making use of the Jugger now, too. Oh, yeah. To free one uh, Dorf. Could be the one that does the Blitz onto the Dirty Player. So use it to free your guy up. He can come in, punch him. He, unfortunately for him, he's uh, this this claw pummer. He's going to get a claw pump somebody next turn, isn't he? But he's going to. Oh, he could blitz the claw pummer. He just used done. his bit there. Yeah. Yeah, he, he could have done, but yeah. I mean, now I. Uh, yeah, he can't do two. Uh, <laughs> sadly. Sadly. Sadly, no, no. I was, I was thinking of the whole next turn that the. Uh, isn't he? He really gets forward PC, like you would think. Somebody could play standard. competently and force him in. But, uh, yeah, it's it, it's just the way he plays. He's so aggressive with his um, taking space. Yeah. This is pretty open. He's going to hang off. To... I'm, de I'm definitely going to uh, utilise trap space and when next time I play PC and just let him mm -hmm. get forward and unsupported and, and shut him down. This should be relatively easy to deal with. This is like, wait, like how does how do dwarves stall this for four more turns? He's shouldn't about two squares too far down. He shouldn't be this far down on turn four. He should be this far down on turn five. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a big GFI. Wow. Okay. Because the ball was just fucking wide open there. Was it? I don't know. I don't know. Nah, well, it yeah, wasn't that wide open, but... Uh, yes, but it's a break tackle into a... Uh, yeah, into two dodges. But it's no different. 
No, it's, it's, it's uh, not any different, no. But if, if he'd failed the GFI... It's worse now. Like, it, it, it's yeah. worse now. He's literally made it worse by GFI because now he, he can double dodge. He can, double he dodge, can do yeah. that one on a three, and then if, it, if, he's, like, you know, if he rolls a five, he can get another one. Whereas yeah. he wouldn't have had that chance if he was there. It was literally worse against the, the break tackle. Oh, oh, no, I guess it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's worse. Yeah, it's worse. That's weird, isn't it? I, don't know what, I wonder what he was looking at there. I think he needed... Oh, he's not blitzing with claw palm! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> this... This is a low-quality blue ball here, not uh, blitzing with a claw palm every single time. Mm -hmm. Well done, Thor, for making a legitimate joke. Oh. He always takes his space. Hence yeah, his hence his team. commentary team. Very good. Very good. The ball is based. There is no bribe, show me magic. No, there is. Uh, there is a wizard and a roller that are the only inducements. Funnily enough, it's like Aravel is doing him a favor here by making him have to get into a fight where he is. Because that's kind of good news, because he was after pushing too far down, and now he's able to kind of get into a fight down there. Yeah, but I mean, it's not it's not, it's not that good, is it, with him getting in two bulls. Two bulls on the ball is not, not very comfortable. This is, this is horrendous for PC. Well, there's a break tackle um, blitz from the into onto the strength bull yeah. that'll just pop the other guy out. And then what does so he do? It, well, it's pretty easy to get that guy out. I mean, he could surf them from there. Um, yep. It's not great, but it's, it's there. I th yeah, I think there is a chance of a surfer. There are a lot of uh, doors there just looking around. Though. I'd call this horrendous, personally. Yeah, I yeah. think it's a little too fast, a little too furious. <laughs> too fast, too furious. It's about family. You can 2D the uh, the bull with that dwarf, that seems sensible. Yeah, that's better than the roller, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is. This is this a dead bull. And a reroll on the like a team reroll, and it clears him off, and then he can punch the mm. other. But can he stall? Is the question. That is the question, isn't it? Mm hmm. And the answer is almost certainly no, in my opinion. I think if he was going to go for the score, he should have just popped his lad out. Way! Way! Yeah, I think he probably should have done, because he's got to pal this. Uh, yeah. He's got to pal this guy now. To, he does, yeah. Dodge. So, yeah, missed opportunities there by not popping his lad out. And he'd have to GFI as well. So, yeah, I mean, if you're going to score, you should absolutely chain him out. But I guess his plan is to not score somehow. But you've still got to power this guy. And then you've got to come back. It's Like, I guess it's decent with this guy here, but you have to power him. That's the problem. Gets the pow. Yeah, I guess he comes back to like here. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, that seems fairly safe. Still has a blitzer free as well. Or that's not. It is a blitzer. Or is it a beard? I can't tell because my it's perception is terrible. Cool. <laughs> you mean the one up uh, based by a uh, hobo is a is a blitzer? No, I mean the guy. Um, and, uh, the guy standing next to the ball. That is a beard. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Sometimes it is J5. <laughs> Fair play. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, I would have gone. I would have gone here. Funny. I would have gone here and then here, like ball here and long beard here. Mm. Is what I would have done. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Interesting that PC is is kind of fine with leaving this diagonal. I 
I wouldn't hate going for the 4... Oh, it's not a 4-2-2 because he's edge 1. There you go. All the people who say that edge doesn't matter. There you go, it does. It really does. That becoming a 5-2-2 instead of a 4-2-2 is just... means it just can't be the right call. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hmm. The only thing I've ever won. Oh, Lil Bass. <laughs> so what's I mean you can't do anything you like this is it was good that was a good recovery from PC, wasn't it? Managing to get back. But he had to power that guy, so there's a bit of luck in it, two fifty five percent but and obviously fifty five percent on the blitz. So there was there was lots of things that had to go right for him there. But um There was. I suppose he might have changed up his plan depending on if he hadn't got a pow on the first hit or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, if he'd gone for the push instead, I still think I would have spent some more time. Because it is three minutes as well, I think I would have spent a little bit more time being able to uh, work out with him. Okay, so, finally, we got the blitz yeah, with the follow oh. Doesn't follow. Doesn't follow. Oh, it passes him anyway. Brilliant. Okay. Didn't bloody follow. I can't oh, believe is it. Oh, isn't it did he? Yes. No, it isn't an apple. Himself. He cast himself. Wow. He cast the player called as the coach. Oh, really? Oh, no way, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, brilliant. Yep. Amazing. So, no hubris um, being shown by uh, by Iravel. Yeah, that is that is a bit greedy from PC, isn't it? That is a, I, mi mi a misclick, maybe? Like, maybe it was a misclick? I... I'm not sure. It's obviously that guy is a great lad to have in the game to to help you out, but he does have four other guys with the same skills. Yeah, but it's it's PC. Like, I know. It's it that that I'm thinking that's a misclick. Okay. I'll go with that too. Yes, I think that was a. Yeah, he would ordinarily immediately uh, use the app on the first badly hurt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's a very killy team. Yeah. There's a lot of damage still to come. But but it's he's only, but only for the game, that's the best one to Apple, because it's the first yes. one and it's a badly hurt. So <clears> seeing <throat> there's more to come, like that's what I'm saying, it's greedy, isn't it? Because it means he wants to keep his whole it team is. for the final, so Indeed. Which oh, is big hit. unlike PC, especially being in a greedy in a match that you think you're gonna struggle in, <laughs> you know. And he 100%. should be thinking he's gonna struggle even though it's going well right now. Yeah. Things can definitely change. So still have the roller to blitz. Yeah. He's going to hit the killer. It's a pretty tempting target, isn't it, Jim? Yep. <laughs> nice, old, uh, nice old 3D there. Yeah. And the best thing is just ha having him isolated on... Oh, wait, he's not doing it. Because the wow. best thing was having him isolated on him then as well. Yeah, he, exactly. He's yeah. going to struggle to get 2D. Oh. Wow. So just a stun. So he's going to blitz him and then tag the killer, maybe? And then tag the killer? Yeah. Best of both worlds. But... Yeah, that's pretty strong. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it is too dark because he can get into two into two there as well. But that's fine. You just don't take that one there. What are you talking about? This PC we're talking about here. It was, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. Just get lucky. I mean, plus he's got to get lucky. Like, he is behind or was behind yeah. in this match. <clears throat> No, that's a big five plus when the ball is I mean I suppose he's got cover on the back of the ball, but you're leaving another guy another guard behind if that guy can run through, you know. Yeah, but now with it working and getting the stone it gives him an extra guy yep. to run down, so Yeah. And yeah it's a two pretty plus, much isn't it? He's got a reroll. Mm-hmm. Wrestle hit here. Uphill. Mm-hmm. Ooh. You have to reroll because that's a mighty blow, and your best player, and the only way you can win. Okay. Well done. I think he'll stand firm there. Yeah, I think he, I think he might. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think the big worry is the like because it's turn seven, so this is the turn to foul. So can he get a nice foul in somewhere? No, I think he doesn't care about fouling now. Ooh, I don't know about that, right? Well, you've got a three dice on this best player, so. 
<laughs> so I think that that mitigates the non-foul. And you've also got to think about getting your ball carrier into range. You do. So, obviously in an ideal world, yes, you'd be fouling, but I think now you don't care about it. Okay. 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 <laughs> This is. I think you've got a hit with the runner, like he hasn't. But I think you've got a hit with the runner there, just because you can't follow on the power, right? With him having stand mm -hmm. firm. So if he, if you didn't have stand firm, I, I like this hit because you get the guard in. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The pusher's turn. The disaster pushing a stand firmer turn. Yeah. Yeah. Does get him down with the runner. Doesn't even kill him, Jesus. Dice it. <laughs> just <laughs> dice it, mate. Just dice it. What he could have done, it? what he can still do is one dice him and then double GFI in to 2D him and then 3D him. But that's mm -hmm. a bit crap. He's not getting forward, is he? But then one Ding no. him, you might not get him. So yeah, just two D there, yeah. And then he can walk in for that two D. Yeah. Which is also a crime. Yeah. No, he's walking in for this two D. No, I don't like that either because it's hitting wrestle, right? Mm. But he, he wants him up. This. Oh man! He wants him up and down. I mean, this is this is this is pretty good for clearing the path for the end. Uh, the score. I would have, I would have just left it as a one D though. I think I think I would have. Uh, but then it's a blitz, yeah. So I I I would have favoured probably moving in to make this a two D and then just do that a one D blitz. But I guess making that a two D gets you more down the side and. Then if you don't need the reroll on the block, then you get to do this a one D and reroll it. So I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's probably the best play. It is PC. Anything PC does is probably the best play, apart from this non-Apple, <laughs> which is just definitely the wrong play. As far as I can see, like, un unless you're ahead, like, unless you were, like, you know, if he was playing against the Zons or the Wood Elves, then I can definitely see not apple that because you think you're going to win and, you know, you're not going to take much more damage. But if, you know, you might take a perm that you want to that you want to save for the final or an next that you want to save for the final. But this was... Not the t not the game to uh, not apple in as far as going I'm to try to screen here. Yeah, this edge forward does have some lateral movement available, however. Just needs to power him with a million chances, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so three two pluses, four two pluses to score. And that's without thinking, isn't it? And he can blitz the strength five probably. Almost certainly blitz the strength five. Yes, so he doesn't need to do any special uh, roll. Probably he could even do it with the uh, with the death roller. Too risky. I know it's juggernaut, so the one in nines doesn't apply. Yeah, one in thirty six if you do it with him. I don't, and so it's basically you just can't. But it but it's a, it works thirty five out of thirty six, so it's more likely to work. But obviously you haven't got the uh, you wouldn't have the uh, and also you'd need too many assists to do it. So. I don't know why these two are in here. Is he, is PC doing it wrong? Looks like he's doing it wrong. He's doing it wrong. Wow. Well, I don't. I, well, maybe he's just gonna do do it halfway. But he's doing it wrong, isn't he? Because he's leaving. He's leaving three two pluses here. Whereas he could have blitzed this, and then it would have been two two pluses. Don't like that. I much preferred the uh, roller blitz. Yeah. I'm sure the roller blitz is better. Even if it's a Uh, apologies, Killer. sir. My um, uh -huh. my Discord just uh, completely crashed, so I'm just back. No problem. Okay, I'm going to the loo. Meanwhile, uh, they set up. Yeah, that was that was. I mean, minor, minor, but I, I think it was definitely a mistake. 
but you so know. Uh, yeah Gary just came back in the middle there what did I miss he just he made some columns and um, rather than getting the outside blitz and uh, making it 2-2 two, two, he turned he left him there and made it a 2-2-2 two, two, two. yes okay I mean you know very marginal call but it's PC so I mean I'm, I'm sure he'll be annoyed yeah. when he looks back on it maybe he had a valid reason for going the other way yep just wrong <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Or already had it in his mind that he was going to do a thing, and then because of other series of events, it didn't work out, so he didn't go back to the previous one. Nah, just probably just tunnel, just 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 bad, you know, like just literally tunnel vision. Probably <laughs> it's just bad. Yeah, you know? tunnel vision. No, yeah, nobody yeah. plays perfectly all the time. That's just exactly. wrong. It, it's just wrong. It's okay to say it's wrong. It's okay. wrong, and you know, and I do wrong things all the time, and you know, even the great PC and Andy Davo and. Rick Reckless, you know, all of those legends all all make plenty of mistakes every single game. So that's okay, it just is what it is, isn't it? It is. And that's fine too. <laughs> it's surprising the announcing team has just as many chalices as PC. Yeah, that's true, J5. Each of us has the same amount of chalice wins as, as PC, though maybe <laughs> not after two more games. Because <laughs> mm. he's got a pretty good chance, isn't he? He's 1 0 up. Uh, they've yeah, both got, their, up. Both got um, their apple. PC's got his wizard. And, he does. Uh, you know, I, I guess PC's down to 11 now. PC is maxed at 11. And iRavel's yeah. maxed at 12. Um, but yeah, but they are uh, pretty pretty big uh, miss next game. P pretty big missing Chorf. And um, I mean, while it's a really, really nice player to be missing, it's not. He's got plenty of other guard. Yeah, this was huge though. I think this this happened. I it think was, this was a misclick. I think that's a misclick by PC. Genuinely, I think that was just a misclick because. Are he's being greedy? Yeah, because I just don't think he'd be greedy. Mm -hmm. You know, three hundred and fifty TV down versus the best team in the tournament. Totally. You know, I just think that's not the time to be greedy. Mm -hmm. There you go. I will ask him after the game. Uh, mm. Because that is that is either very very greedy or um, mm -hmm. or a misclick, one of the two. Yeah. Annoying PC. I would not think greed. Uh, no, but I mean, you know, stranger things have happened. Yeah, it could it could be. I'd be interested to find out. Um, I mean, he's not going for the one turn here, so oh yeah, fine. He could really be making these three Ds. I think you know, it only matters that the claws are 3D, right? So you just want okay. to, I guess, clear the others out so that you make sure that this one's a 3D. And then just have the lads around so that he can gang foul whatever thing doesn't go down. Mm. Yeah, gang, yeah, gang foul. Gang foul is, is acceptable, isn't it? Gang it is. foul the guard. If he doesn't die to the claw. Yeah, and get this guy around. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. well, he's got his 3D now. Kill he him. Does. Well, is he going to follow this one, I wonder? But hey. <laughs> no, so this is done for the moment. There's a well. Kaz. And now he has to apple this, right? No matter yes, what it is. This is a mandatory apple. It's about to hit, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he does, yeah. yeah really cool. Well, Apple works because it was automatically going to work because he didn't choose the dead. Mm. Skill yeah, plays here. Yeah, four. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, hit the other one. Done. Yeah, this is probably big. It's got leader, isn't it? Mm. Even though it's the worst player, mm -hmm. it's got leader. Especially with the Apple just going, that could have been a scary old. Uh... And yeah, now gang fell. Whatever's left. Which is this jabroni here? I really don't like this, but you know, nope. if that's how he plays, that's how he plays, isn't it? Other mm -hmm. people don't roll as many gym fouls as me, so <laughs> they look on this with a different attitude to me. But I hate this foul because it's a, a dwarf or what? It's a dwarf, and it's or the last turn and a half. It's a dwarf, and it's the last right. turn and a half. So <clears throat> it's like both of those things are terrible, right? You like he's got mm -hmm. thick skull. And then, even if you do KO me, 50 50 comes back and you've done nothing with it anyway, and you can be down a player. Like, I just. 
I guess you knock down a player for this half if you fail it. So it's it's got it's got a certain amount of utility. But the fact that overtime is your high is like overtime is your best possible result at this point, right? Because you're one nil down. That at one nil down as chops, you cannot win in normal time, basically. Or you, yes. you shouldn't even try. Be like even if you even if you can, you shouldn't, because it's mm -hmm. just better to go to overtime. So overtime is you either lose in sixteen turns or you go to overtime. So because you're playing for the long haul, I, I you know I don't want to just lose a player to get a KO that might come back instantly anyway. It's just and it's and it was the worst player, the literal worst player on his team, a rookie. It was yeah, yeah. long beard. So like at least foul, you know, a, a, claw, a guard mighty stand firm or something, but yep. just not. Just an absolute, not absolute shithead worst player on his team. But you know, there's an argument that if you do it, then he's only got 10 players and then you can keep mm -hmm. the snowball going. You'd still have 11 men for this half, even if he was sent off. So, like, you know, I understand the arguments for it. It's just that for me, I would be anticipating me getting sent off for a stun or a kill yeah, that returns. Yeah, yeah. So I would yeah. not want to do it. But um, Excellent. mathematically, it may well be the correct decision. And obviously. Would have some people just computer, like, yeah. yeah, and some people just like that at the end of the day. Like, you know, they, they, yeah. they, they want to get those removals. Like, you know, the way Rick played his Chorf team is different right. than maybe yeah. the way Cruz played his Chorf's teams. And For sure. uh, they both work, so there you go. Thank you so much. That's a great answer. Really appreciate it. Ooh. Thanks oh, for asking the question. There. Yeah, that was yeah. that was a gym a gym move there, <laughs> if ever I've seen it. <laughs> I often do that sort of thing. Just you know, be fine, be dwarfs, get away with it anyway. It's fine. Ooh, just a stun again. This claw, it was one of the things we were saying. If the claw fires, he's in trouble, and if it doesn't, he should be okay. Um, but he's only really got like four hits off, and uh, only one of them has been a removal, right? Oh no, two. Yeah. Because he, he didn't have the other one. No, he hasn't done it. Yeah, he hasn't done a lot. No. But yeah, he has made two no, cards. No. <laughs> he has made two cards, which, you know. I suppose when you consider it, it was like five hits, two of them were cards, two of them were stuns, yeah. one of them wasn't anything. That's that's pretty fucking efficient. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Because there was a couple of turns, I remember him not having blitzed the with claw palm because you went he's not blitzing with claw palm <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly there was a, a tragedy the disaster the sunday yeah, yeah there's a lot to be said for blitzing with claw palm when it's your main win condition claw palm every time foul every time with the player was was, yeah. was difficult to understand oh, he's stunned he's a stunned fix goal player stop this now <laughs> yeah that's that's <laughs> not the yep that's not the optimum use of a it is not. dirty player. And now the bull, I think, is going to get the punch in the face. He mm. fiercely is getting fierce punched in his fierce face. <laughs> this stops now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think you could work out a... That's a shit foul. And you, your dwarfs as well. It's a shame dwarfs aren't better at fouling. Well, actually, no, I take that back. <laughs> yeah, no, it's one of the good things. They're, is that they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's not think of ways to make dwarves even mm. better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So PC, of like course, old, uh, running away from the claw palm here. Yeah. I do like the old uh, DP, um, DP uh, spare runner. I think he's fun. Mm. And the question is, do you just not claw palm? And I think you put, it probably is okay to not claw palm this turn because you can kind of rescue the uh, rescue the bull and get things like it's, it's worth rescuing the bull to not claw palm. I think this turn. Mhm. Mm Longbeards would start with dirty player if it was up to me. I would give them all dirty player and uh, lose tackle. Give them all dirty player and fifty k bribes. Let's fucking go. Nice. Just because they're already scumbags. Yeah, well, they, they are in the fluff. Dwarves are scumbags, like you know. That's oh, the yeah, thing. Yeah. They're like the they're the biggest cheats. Yeah. And Ooh, it's, uh, it's yeah. Hilarious. Ooh, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they were they were great in the in the the fluff of Blood Bowl, like second edition. Dwarves were great. Dwarves are absolutely great in the in the third in the second edition fluff, and then in third edition, obviously, they made everything Warhammer and called them long beards, and they became yeah. suddenly completely fucking lame as balls. Because mm -hmm. honestly, like Warhammer dwarves are really fucking lame, aren't they? Uh, they pretty much are. Yeah, they're um, they're kind of um... negative charisma. Yeah. 
Oh, well, what a surprise. Well done. I mean, their avarice is kind of a thing, right? But, outside of that, yeah. Mm. Um, it's what Games Workshop and Games Workshop wants you to like everything. They want you to like all of the things so that everybody has a legit reason for why they want to collect the toys, because I like these guys. Yes, yeah, obviously some people like dwarves, you know, PC likes them, doesn't he? Um, yeah, <laughs> despite being an elf coach, he, <laughs> he likes dwarves. I can understand, I can understand people liking uh, dwarves. And, uh, what yeah, I don't understand dwarves. is the people that like the, the Drukari, the Darakel, that is like, man, what's wrong with you? They like what? The Dark Eldar of Warhammer 40k is oh, like, sure. yeah, it's like, why, what's wrong with you? Why, why you buy these miniatures and paint them and things like that? It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> the, the absolute worst thing ever. Because they're emo kids, man. You know. It's beyond emo. Yeah, like, I mean, that's the whole point of Dark Elves, right? So that you can be all like, oh man, oh, my, my parents hate me. Oh. No, no, but that's the Dark Elves of uh, Warhammer 40k. That's, they have a pass. I mean, the, the Dark Elves, the... the the ones in Warhammer 40k. Yes, the Dark Eldar. And the Dark Elves are pretty much the same, aren't they? Outside of their, you know, blood. Because they like... They're like... Well, they're more goths. Whereas the 40k guys are more emo, I suppose. Mm. I don't know. I like dwarves. I like guys... I like big burly lads with axes. Four. Four. I, I like I like Durin in uh, Rings of Power. I thought yes, he was the, the redeeming is the redeeming factor of the the show. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like combat bunny. It's like, it's, it's like combat. I, I combat bunny was streaming last night, and I was gonna say hello and hello. I loved you in Rings of Power, and I thought he might. He might, he might like things I haven't spoken to him for like you know a year. He might not appreciate it, but it, it would. I so wanted to. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. He was the originator of Blots. Who, who is this, sorry? Uh, Combat Bunny. He streams. Oh, he's very got, good. Yeah, yeah. He's got a big ginger beard, so he, he you know he looks like he looks like, and he he looks like and looks and sounds like Durin if he was to put on a uh, wig. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm having a lovely time talking about this, but um, he's going to have to start pushing forward a little bit here. Uh, the, the, he's kind of got stuck, and um, the riot means this is... Um, does fall not all right. the way No. He's left this guy open to get uh, first kicked in the head as well. Yeah, I would have rather hit a more high-value high player, but yeah, he's not, he's not pushing very much and does have the wizard to contend with, so it's tricky. It's mm -hmm. tricky. Down the rabbit hole! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Trying to do 1D versus PC. Mm -hmm. Rookie. Amateur Ooh. player. Amateur. <laughs> Fully enough, PC is a bit like the actor who played Gimli, isn't he? Yeah, not terribly uh, dissimilar. Yeah. The lad from... Um, Sliders. Uh, sliders, exactly. Sliders was really good fun, actually. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to say the guy from you know, Indiana Jones and the Lost Crusade. Well, he's in that as well, yeah. But he's the guy from Sliders, right? Yeah, he's the guy from Sliders for me. Mm -hmm. Did you watch Sliders, Famer? I don't even know what's that. I only yeah. know that guy from the Indiana Jones. That's the, the yeah. big one. Yeah, fair play. Mm. Uh, it was a cool sci-fi show from the very mid-90s, like 94, 95, I think. Mm. And uh, about guys who were sliding through different pocket dimensions. And uh, obviously, that made <laughs> it uh, cool for, you know, nerds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think that the city has never uh, reached Spain. Tragedy. Mm. Yeah, I enjoyed sliders. <laughs> it was a slider fork. <laughs> no one's going to get that. It was in an SFL Discord. But I can assure you, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, this is this is real bad for I Revel now, isn't it? It Four is, Four turns yeah. versus a wizard. Yeah. A stun. Claw Pommer's down. And another uh, chorf. Okay, that's all right. But the yeah, put it's a lot of pressure in here. Yeah. What's it gonna be? Fine. 
was, I think was gonna be as well. casually putting one bull in range, mm. you know, just casually like advancing in the general direction for a handoff. You might have to, yeah, yeah. A bull handoff is looking like the best thing he's gonna get right now. I, I mean, so. he can go to the well. He has to go to the right side now. Yes, he has to. Yeah, he has to break tackle off. And go to the right side, and now even more mm. because at least the hobos have moved in six, mm -hmm. and there is the bull there. So, but it's getting a like proper cage around this is going to be really, really tricky. And then we've got the wizard to contend with. Well, I was going to say the bull blitzes, but he hasn't. <clears throat> mm. I think the bull has has to blitz there, and then yeah. move move across, and then he has to break tackle off, and then we've got a bit of a. Good screen, but I don't know who's blitzing. I will have a break tackle and blitz the guy in the corner. You know, the one mighty blow. Well, no, okay, he's blitzing with the wrestle hop. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Blitzing that guy, yes. Which is getting a power wrestle, the biggest, biggest kill skill, yeah. yeah. Biggest kill skill in the game. Yeah, this is, this is pretty dicey, but getting away with it so far, and he can move this guy off. Guy quite far, far across, can he? He can, yeah. Pull him all the way over. Pull him off. So we can. Ooh. That enough? I don't think that's enough. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I think that's good. Oh, he's oh. He's failed the show of feet, but it's still Which probably has... okay. Yeah. PC might think about the wizard here for a little bit. He's got three turns, just... but um. I don't think the wizard's wizard straight away. You'd wizard straight away? Oh, he may well. Uh... Oh, right. No, I think he'll think about it. What is oh, of course, recovery? he's got three minutes, yeah. And he's, already, he's already dismissed it. Mm -hmm. I think that was one where you should think about it, because it, it's not an obvious whiz, but it's yeah. it might be worth it, so I think it, it was worth thinking about. Mm -hmm. Even if you think, <laughs> wouldn't wizard there. I still think it was worth just taking a look at it. I mean, he could have the ball, the ball, and then try to kill uh, Aji for a ball carrier, and that would be a massive problem for the. Hmm. Mm, that's a that's a big blitz, isn't it? Get just to get him out and block it. Like he could have just blocked uh, with a ball carrier, but obviously he wants to move the edge four over. Does yeah, the edge four could just two plus off the way towards the end, but right. I mean, he could, but then he uh, can't hit him. Like, he, the Arch 4 could have just punched him himself, right? Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, but, but if you're not going to punch him with the Arch 4, then... And, like, if you're going to dodge off, it's better to blitz him with Mighty Blow, isn't it? But it mm -hmm. could have just blocked with him, but he must want him over there. Yes, I looks. mean, obviously, uh, he has to move the... The, the effort to prepare for the wizard next time. Yeah, I think he had to, yeah. So, not that... Not that also, now... Yes, now he has the sure hands also, you know, in the general area. Yeah, uh, interestingly not to, you know, because he could have done some shenanigans and had the um, the sure, the, the main runner um, down the back. Um, maybe even to tag that bull and just make it a little bit annoying. Yeah, I wonder if he, I wonder if he should have uh, run this guy to here. To there, yeah. Three plus. Oh. No reroll. Mm -hmm. So obviously he's anticipating overtime, but I mean that fail makes overtime that much more likely, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. No fails the seventy-five percent of from wrestle tragedy. Yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, nice now time. gets him, but every every chorus that has to activate to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. There's no chorus down the field. It's a chore that's gonna be a stack there until the end of time. He's gonna to have to. This, this, the bull's gonna to have to break tackle, hit the uh, edge four now. I think so. Or I guess he can one d. No, he can't because it's left dodge. So yeah, he has to. No, no, he has to break tackle and just go there and hit that. Because he needs to advance this yeah, turn and he needs to have some protection there. Yeah, he does. yeah, he has, he has to. But if he, if he'd got the initial power, he could have then blocked him and blocked him and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. mm -hmm. and been free. And uh, here we go. Doesn't get the knockdown. Oof. Does not. Nope. 
maybe could have re-rolled that. You know, it's one that you wouldn't know, like you know you wouldn't see people re-rolling it. But yeah, you know maybe he should have done. Um, yeah, it's a natural one to not re-roll, but it was maybe. I, I can smell some ozone in there. I think there is a storm coming. <laughs> yes, we may well see the wizard now. Depends what happens here, but the. Not automatic, but I think he's got a thing. Not automatic, it. but okay. Now uh, nice. go in there. Really? Yes, that makes it more difficult. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Mm -hmm. There is a pass for the leader uh, Dodge. Uh, but this. What do you do? Do you bolt? He does bolt. Here we go. Yeah. PC's obviously got a plan. Yeah. He's mm. been thinking about it more than I have. <laughs> I think it's that the, the trick is going to be the Dodge uh, runner, not the AG4 uh, runner. No, there's a, there's a weak diagonal, isn't there? So he's just got to blitz mm -hmm. this. He's just got to blitz this bull down, and he can two plus through. Yep. Oh, I was wrong with him there. So yeah, yeah. Now he's uh, blitzing the. The bull. Yeah. And then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you can't really get anywhere with it. Just just punt it, I guess. Maybe. Oh, he's blitzing him. Okay, he and then he's, he's going to come around here. Chance, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is good, isn't Oof. it? Now he's is... still thinking the reroll. Wow, doesn't put the reroll. I think he maybe should have rerolled that. He's got a lot of dice to roll, yeah. Yeah, but like just getting him down means almost certainly there's no score next turn, right? And then, yeah. because like the Kekwadi with PC, he's got good odds to stop him scoring now. So mm -hmm. there's a lot to be said for putting in two rerolls okay. and stopping him scoring rather than going overtime yes, with two more rerolls. If he put down that uh, hobo, you know, who will be able to pick up the ball? Mm. One of the bulls. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> you know, that's. I guess he's going to put in the reroll on on this, but I mean this is so much harder now, right? Because it's a it's he's it added is, a three yeah, to yeah. get through. Yeah, I think that's what the lack of reroll is about, because he knows he's going to have to put this three in. But I just think it was worth knocking him down. Yep. Saves you a three under two, in fact. It does, but at least you now have the reroll for this three. Which we're gonna see right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, lead. Oh, and he fails it. One and nine. And just a stun is okay, but yeah, this isn't great. And now this guy goes <clears throat> back and pick it up. Yeah. And, and yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and off because and then block and blitz through. <laughs> 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 it's not Simple. great. It's not great, but I guess that's what he has to do. It's uh, okay. One in nine here could be a disaster. Is not and now hand off fifty percent. Gets it. Just just gets it because of fifty percent. Straight down the sideline. Yeah, yeah. I guess he has to because he he's got to power one of these otherwise. Yeah. And now this is nightmare of the strength five uh, with the ball has come. Uh, Great tackle. Real. Man. Great tackle with this one actually. The blitz one two three four five six seven right. And then, okay. you, then you've got tackle on the runner and you're tagging another guy. Yeah. So, yeah, it's more dice, but break tackle, GFI blitz him is the best play, I think. Oh, he's going for the needs a power route. Oh, I don't like this. In fact, I, I hate think break tackle is still just getting another dodge I after hate this. That. Yeah. I absolutely fucking yeah. hate this. What? Tackle. So, 50%. And he gets cash, yeah. Yeah, I hated that. Because mm. you just need the power. It's probably worth re-rolling the, uh, the initial hit if you're going to do that. But mm -hmm. uh, even then, I just think it's much better uh, yeah, to dodge. Yeah, I think the other, the other bull uh, break here. tackle. Yeah. So, only two scoring threats? Yeah. Yeah, this guy maybe should have geified to go in front yep. of him to be a scoring yep. threat. Like, you know, that was an idea. I mean, you don't add those rolls before a 4 plus handoff, do you? One, two, no. Three, four, five, looking very bad for uh, a Ravel here because this is going to be zero scoring uh, threats very soon. 
Yeah, basically. That's one gone. Does he even put the foul in on this guy? No, he can't. Um, he's going to pick up first, isn't he? He's, I think yeah. you've got to pick up first, and then that's going to give you yeah. like people around the ball anyway. Yeah, I think in fact he did be foul because you just put two two guys. Just put a guy on this side and pick up the ball and, and go, there. go to there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not over, but it's uh, mm. it's very, 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 very close to over. <laughs> It's about in these blocks because he has do. sure hands and uh, you know uh, he doesn't need to reroll that. But uh, also he must be feel very safe now. This is uh, looking really good. Mm -hmm. It is. Gets it and nice and safe. It's a lovely square because it also stops the. Um, makes I mean the he can also lo lob it, well, uh, right? lob it somewhere yeah. you know to the side and that's it. I mean, still the, if still he wants. Like... <laughs> oh. Ooh. 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 Yeah, I think that's worse. Unless he's going to lob yeah. it. Yeah. Unless he's going to lob it. Oh, Ooh. wow. It's GFI. He loves his GFI, doesn't he? It's PC. Was, of course, yeah. he's just going to keep playing. Oh, doing the GFI here, you know, for the drama, but obviously works. Is he going to lob um, it? Or? I think he loves that to the uh, left side of the pitch. is happy days. Yeah. Because who's going to pick up a door or that, you know? I mean, now even now it's very, very difficult for the charge. They need a... Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Needed Ooh. a power, this guy. Yeah, 1D power, and then he was just... 1D power, and then he was, just, uh, then he was on, on, yeah. So now he's got yeah, a double door. through. Yeah, he fails the first. And there is nothing else, yeah. so that's it. <clears throat> PC reaches the final for the wow. second time. Mm-hmm. And he's going to face... Andy Dave, or also in the final for the second time. The second one of, time. The, one yeah. of, them, one of them will become Exciting champion stuff. before his daughters go finish college. <laughs> <laughs> because both of them have daughters. You see running on a clock here because his daughter is uh, much older than uh, Andy Davos' uh, daughter. So yeah, all the pressure is on PC. Plus 10, I believe. Basically, basically, this reason I just made up yesterday, but I think it's hilarious. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's for a level. Wow. Wow, unbelievable. Come on. For a level. Oh, PC has won a uh, PC has yeah, won a level. major on Fumble where it was his his dwarves versus Necros in the final, believe it or not, so there you go. Really? Mm. Did he play did he play a lot of dwarves? Yeah, yeah. But amazingly for an elf coach, he, he he plays a surprising amount of dwarves, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> to understand just never them. really associate dwarves with PC. You know? <laughs> to understand them and see uh, how the you know how to destroy them better. Mm. <laughs> Too bad they don't give the chain mail like anymore. Bundy, can The chain mail leg. He will carry the chain mail leg to the graduation of his uh, daughter. You know, and grab the mic. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Jay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you a story of how old my uh, CCL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And that's all she wrote. GG. Yeah. Uh, what an interesting game. Yeah. It was I think uh, Ravel uh, was rattled all the uh, game. Like, he go didn't got a hold of the game, you know, like uh, being in control or something like that. And PC was the one in more or less uh, in control. We yeah, I mean, PC got way more blocks, didn't he? Yeah, and, so uh, much more. Nearly as many AV breaks, you know, and that was despite Iravel fouling a bunch and having a claw bomber. So yeah. uh, it was definitely bad luck on Iravel's part, but it was also very, very well played by PC. So there I'll you tell go. you what, that, uh, that lack of uh, Apo on the badly hurt at the start also coming back to be a, you know, fantastic plan. Well, not the really. Breed, breed works. <laughs> 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 Not really, <laughs> but um, it was proved to be a mistake, wasn't it? <laughs> in fact, but in the same half, it was proved as he had to app or worse player. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, he, he got away with it, I guess. Um, he did get away with the greed, so there you go. And uh, but yeah, he did get better. He, he got he got quite a lot better dice. But I mean, I do think he played better as well, particularly uh, the score. Right, um, that was. I think Iravel had to dodge. And hit with the, you know, hit the runner, 
dodge hit the runner and then run around and uh, just potato basically with the uh... yeah he just went to turn too late and uh, it was I suppose the riot might it might have gone out of his mind for a turn or two that they had the riot um, and uh, that could have been it but yeah he just I mean we did call it early on like turn 13 which would have been turn 12 saying he has a lot of work to do and, yeah he got uh, bugged wasn't down. able to get it yeah it's mm. funny so, uh, it's been a quick game uh, around just an hour yeah. Yeah. Really quick game. Yeah. It's funny because I, I like I can I can relate a lot to that because I like play so automatically, you know, and like riots often catch me out with like the, mm. the timing of the drive just because you know like yeah just playing on instinct rather than looking at what turn it is and stuff. So yeah, I, I'm sure he, like that may have been a factor, but uh, but even then like he just got bogged down, like he got bogged down anyway. You know, it's not as if he was just like not bothering to go forward. He was he was literally like he was getting bogged down by PC. So. It yeah. was it was well played by PC, but you know it was also well rolled. So there you go. That's the best combination, yeah. isn't it? You can <laughs> you can beat one of those sometimes, but not both. <laughs> yes, the, the, the winning condition for Abel was you know also that the Clo did some work and get rid of some dwarves to create a space, and that didn't work very well. And fouls were uh, mostly useless too. So they yeah. were that's it. Yeah, on another you know, day. You, you, don't, you don't make removal. <laughs> yeah. You don't make removal, so yeah. Yep. Um, right. Well, I imagine PC won't be joining us because he, he is streaming it himself this time. Did, so, thank you very much, Kalon and Fimey. Absolutely glorious having you on, as always. Thanks for having me. Always, yes. A pleasure to be here. And another big hello to our Polish viewers. <laughs> If you're watching this in YouTube and you are Polish, you know, leave a comment or something like that or whatever you want. Glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.